गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स दिस इज कुमार प्रत्योष एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल एडुकेम डिस्कवरी फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू लेक्चर सीरीज दैट विल इंक्लूड द आई यू पी एस ई नोमिन क्लेचर ऑफ सर्टेन बायो एक्टिव एजेंट्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द मार्केट इन फॉर्म ऑफ सेवरल फॉर्मुलेशन सो प्लीज लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट suitably in the comment section thank you so so friends let's start the series with the drug propranolol as you can see that the structure of propranolol has been listed below the structure of propranolol is basically divided into three segments the first segment as you can see i am highlighting with a naphthalene ring the second segment is a alkyl chain and the third segment is a amino chain which is having a isopropyl group now secondly if i say that this third segment can also be further divided into a segment which comprises of an alkyl chain and if this alkyl chain is attached with nitrogen from the second position so this is all about the structure of propanolol so kindly be with me till the end of the video so let's start as you can see that the second segment that is propane alkyl chain is having one hydroxy group at the second position and this becomes the prior group that are present in this particular molecule that is why we will take hydroxy group that is alcohol functional group as the parent functional group so if i number this chain i will see that the i will need number this carbon as first this as second and this as third so how i will write i will write pro pain as you can see that the second position is having one hydroxy group so i will write two all so this is the name of my parent substituent that is present in the structure now this propane to all is further substituted at first position and the third position with the third marked substituent and first marked substituent so let's see individually first that what is the iupac nomenclature of this first segment and third segment and we have seen currently the iupac of the second segment so when i look into the first segment so i will see that a naphthalene ring is present which is further attached with an oxygen at the first position of the naphthalene so how i will write it as naphthalene now if i am writing naphthalene then definitely i have to include the oxygen which is attached at the first position also hence i will include one as you can see that one hydrogen might have been replaced with this oxygen that is why we will use the word yl that is Uh, in form of alkane when we are removing one hydrogen we are using the word alkyl so it is naphthalene 1y and this one position is attached with an oxygen so it becomes oxy okay so what is the structure name naphthalene 1y oxy coming to the third segment we can observe that this carbon 
can be numbered as 1, this can be numbered as 2 and this can be numbered as 3 for this particular segment. So, this is nothing but a propane moiety which is substituted with an amino group at the second position. So, how we will write that? We will write accordingly as firstly it is propane. Okay. Now, at the second position one hydrogen has been replaced by the amino group. So, we will write 2 YL amino. Now, we can see that this naphthalene 1 YL Oxy um, substituent is attached at the first position of the propane 2 or and this the third segment is attached with the third carbon of our parent chain. So we will write 3 according to the structure. Now as per the IUPAC rule we know that we have to look into the alphabetical order of the substituents and write accordingly from right to left. So we can see that N and P the word N comes first so the full name of this molecule will comprise propane to all at the rightmost section. Now the left one will be including the attached molecule which is having the greater alphabetical order so it is third three propane two yl amino okay and simultaneously this propane to all is also attached with one naphthalene vial one vial oxy group so i will write one naphthalene one vial oxy so this becomes the full nomenclature of this structure that is propanolol as we can see that while writing the IUPAC, we have to focus on that the, the N comes first, so it will be at the leftmost section and P comes after the N, so it will be at the rightmost section. So, But while writing the nomenclature, we have to keep uh, one thing in mind that the greater alphabetical order should be attached with the which the parent chain directly and uh, the lesser one will be in the father position okay so i hope so you have understood the iopsc nomenclature of propranol please subscribe the channel and you will also see some of the other drugs which we will discuss in further videos kindly be with us if you have liked it Please press the like button and subscribe the channel. Thank you.